second. Hi guys, welcome back to one more video on DIY projects. In one of our previous videos, we have made a joystick using Arduino board and UnoJoy firmware. There were few drawbacks in that project. Many of you guys faced issues with the bootloader for flashing the firmware. And that joystick was a wired one and supports only on specific games. So in this video, we'll be making a better version of joystick controller which works on wireless Bluetooth connection and the same controller can be used on multiple devices like computer, Android smartphone and PlayStation. So make sure you follow the complete video. For this project, you need ESP Room32 development board which comes with built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth option, two joystick modules, and some push buttons. This software can support up to 12 button inputs. But for demonstration, I'll go with four. And some jumper wires. Moving on to the connections, the three volts of the ESP board goes to VCC pins of both the joystick modules and similarly the ground of the ESP board connects to ground pin of both the joystick modules. VRX and VRY of the right joystick module goes to pins 12 and 13. VRX and VRY of left joystick module connects to pins 14 and 27. Here I'll also make use of switch buttons present on the joystick module. The switch pin on the right module connects to pin 33. And the switch pin of the left module to pin 32. Coming to the button inputs, one terminal of all the push buttons are connected together and goes to the ground pin of the ESP32 board. Other terminals of the push buttons to be connected to the digital pins like pin 15, 17, 4 and 5. If you are planning to add more buttons, you can just refer to the code and get the remaining pin declarations. That's all the connections. If you have any doubts, just refer to the circuit diagram from the link in the description box. Temporarily, I'll mount all the components on this wooden board. But at the end of this video, we'll design a PCB board to make it simple and finished product. Moving on to the software and the code, I'll be using Arduino IDE software and this is the code which we'll be using. Here we have two dependencies. First is the board. Since we are using ESP32 board, we have to link the board to our Arduino IDE. And second one is the libraries. To start with a board, copy this board reference link from the description box 
and go to file preferences and paste it in the additional board manager if you already have some other links here just use comma and paste the new link and click ok next to download the boards connect your system to the internet go to tools board board manager so here search for ESP32 and install ESP32 by Expressive Systems so I have already installed you should get installed message like this moving further on the libraries we have to install these two for that go to sketch include library manage libraries and search for ESP32 Bailey Gamepad so if you click on install it gives this message asking us to install the second library also so we can give install all and it's done so now we can close and code is ready for compilation as I told before the same controller can be used on multiple devices based on the use case we have to configure the gamepad mode in the code just scroll down and you can see the gamepad mode based on your requirement you can configure it to Android PlayStation or PC first we'll give a try on the PC so I'll change this enum value to PC I'll connect the board to the computer to upload the code first we have to identify the COM port number go to device manager under ports you can check the COM port number in the tools select the board as ESP32 development module along with appropriate COM port and click on upload after uploading I'll remove the USB from the computer and connect directly to the power bank for the power supply further the communication will happen over the Bluetooth first turn on the Bluetooth go to settings and pair to ESP32 BLE gamepad to confirm if all the axis and buttons are working go to control panel view devices and printers right click on ESP32 gamepad game controller settings properties so here both the joystick axis are working and also the button inputs are getting detected I'll try using this on Euro Truck Simulator 2 game the game is already detecting a new controller
in the controls I am selecting 8 axis 16 button device and controller subtype as gamepad joystick I'll assign the basic controls Also, I'm assigning the buttons. So everything is working as expected. Moving on to the smartphone, just I'll change the gamepad mode to Android in the code and upload again. In order to test the inputs on the smartphone, I'll install gamepad tester application from the Play Store. In order to pair the device, turn on the Bluetooth, go to settings and pair it with ESP32 gamepad. Inside the app, open Android gamepad and check for all the controls. All the inputs are getting detected properly. Now I'll install Rationality 3 game which supports joystick. In the controller, I'll assign the required inputs. and start playing the game. Everything is working as expected. In order to make this joystick a finished version, I'll design custom joystick shaped PCB using Altium Designer. So this video is sponsored by Altium. They offer Altium Designer and Altium 365. Altium Designer is an industry's leading PCB designing software which helps in effortless design of printed circuit boards. And Altium 365 is a platform which helps in continuous collaboration and improving development process from PCB design to its manufacturing. This RTM 365 combined with the designer helps to share the real-time projects with the team members, customers and manufacturers, get it reviewed and fix the issues on the go. Also, to help the students, they have come up with RTM Student Lab campaign. By registering with your university mail ID, you can get free access to Altium Designer 365 and their PCB design courses. With this, you can collaborate, learn, 
get certified and excel in your career so make sure to check out rtm products and rtm student lab india specific link from the description and get started right now i'll open rtm designer i'm taking all the components like esp board two joystick modules and push buttons and start making the connections i am making the pcb board shape as a standard joystick controller and start placing the components next i'll start with the routing and complete all the connections after completing all the steps this is how our final pcb will look checking for design rule errors it says no errors and warnings so i'll directly export the gerber files with this our pcb board is ready for getting printed i'll place the order once i receive the boards i'll make part 2 of this video where we'll assemble the components and test it on both the devices stay tuned for that video i hope this tutorial was interesting and helpful subscribe for more videos thank you for watching we'll be back in the next one